after line 53, just type in if selected place mark is equal to nil and UI view dot annotations dot count is more than zero the UI view dot remove annotation dot remove annotations need to put an S at the end of that one remove annotations UI view dot annotations so what that does it just makes sure that only one annotation can be on the map at any one time and then we need another if statement after line 57 which is if let place mark is equal to selected place mark so what that does it just checks that the selected place mark is available UI view dot add annotation place mark And then the next thing we need to do is create another function that's called make coordinator function make coordinator that returns a coordinator. coordinate coordinator open back itself so what that does it checks if a it creates a coordinator for a map view and then it returns an instance of the coordinator by using itself So now we'll create the coordinator class. The so class coordinator NS object MK map view delegate. Bar parent map view in it parent map view self dot parent is equal to parent. What that does, on line um, 68, it creates a coordinator class and then the purpose of using MK map view delegate 
is to handle map events. Then on this line, line 69, that's just used to reference the parent map view. And then line 71 and 72 initializes the coordinator with the parent view. So now what we need to do is the next thing to do is to create the yeah the search results which is a strut strut search result identifiable let id String let place mark MK place mark let title string and let for the dress string. So, what this does on line 32 is that it defines a struct for search results with identifiable conformance. So what that means is that if we use identifiable in a struct, that means we have to have an ID variable as well. So the purpose of identifiable and ID is to give the record or give the struct a unique ID for each row or each record that will be displayed or shown within a list or some type of loop. And the place mark is associated with the actual results. And the full address is the actual full address that's returned back to the user. On line 38, enter the following. Which is extension. Really, this should be in a separate class. Or, sep I mean, separate file. Extension, mk, place mark. But we can move it to a separate file afterwards. Bar formatted address string. So this creates a computer property to format the address. Optional. And the good thing about computer computed properties, they're only called when needed, so it reduces the application memory. Var address components. So address components is a string array that includes all the components that makes up an address, such as town, city, postcode, or if it's or if you're in America, zip codes, country. And now the next thing we need to do is safe unwrapping to get each of the address components. So if let name is equal to self dot name add address component dot append name
then a let locality is equal to cell dot locality so if it's not nil then address components dot append locality if let postal code is equal to cell dot postal code then address components dot append postal code so it gets the postal code there and then if let country is equal to still country address components dot append country and then we just return the actual address components where each component will be joined by a separator which is what we're using is a comma so let's compile it just to make sure that everything is correct So as I said before, we can put this within an extension. So what we'll do is copy that name, MK placemark, create a new file. And then for the extension name, we will just add MK placemark and then use a plus sign and type the word extension and click on create. And then we'll go back to the content view and just cut the following code as it move. So we're going to move lines 39 to 62, just cut it, and then move it into the MK Play Smart Plus extension file, and then the extension is now in a separate file. So we probably need other import statements that's needed, for example, map kit. Let's compile it now, see if it works. So that compiled, which is good. The next thing we need to do is, um, we need to go back into the content view And then on line or after line 29, create a function called get user location. Function get user location. Let location manager equal CL location. CO location manager. So create a new instance of the CL location manager. 
location manager dot request when in use authorization so what that does it requests authorization to use poor location to use the maps on the device if let location is equal to location manager dot location so if the location is available as in it's enabled on the device and location is equal to location dot coordinate so it will get the coordinates of the user's location and then the next thing we need to do is create another function but let's compile this first So this function is called function perform search and the purpose of this it performs the search on the address let request equals mk local search Request Request Natural Language Query Equals Search Query So the purpose of that line, line 33, whatever we're searching for, such as just say we're searching for Westfields, it will locate all of the instances that has Westfields within that country. Or if you want to broaden it, you can type in an actual country, for example, if there's one in America, type in America in Westfields. But the default is the current country that the person is in. That's why they call it the MK local search. Let's search equals MK local search request request to create a local search search dot start and then we're using a closure here response error in If let error is equal to error, so if there's an error, then we just print it. Search failed with error. Error localized description. And then we just return from the if statement, so exit. Let's compile it. Thank you for joining us. If you found this tutorial helpful, please comment, like and subscribe. See you next week.